FBI blindsided by Trump's crowning achievement sets the swamp on fire. It is no secret that the FBI is in need of a major reboot. After everything that has come out over spying on the Trump campaign and an outright attempt to prevent Trump from becoming president and stay president, you can imagine that Trump is on the hunt for corrupt officials there. More and more is coming to light every day and it isn't pretty. President Trump sees purging the FBI of biased top officials as part of his crowning achievement. His legacy as a president. And he said so in an interview with The Hill.TV's John Solomon. I think that I hope to be able to put this up as one of my crowning achievements, he told The Hill.TV's Buck Sexton and John Solomon, describing his efforts as a great service to the country. You can bet that statement set the entire swamp on fire. Good times. Trump noted support from the American people on cleaning house and the FBI. The politically motivated attacks from within the FBI have enraged much of America. We have tremendous support by the way, to expose something that is truly a cancer in our country," he said. From Breitbart After Trump fired FBI Director James Comey, the administration forced out Deputy Director Andrew McCable, FBI agent Peter Strzok, and downgraded Department of Justice employee Bruce Orr. More than 25 FBI and DOJ officials have either been fired, demoted, or resigned since Trump took office. The president also wondered why the FBI failed to warn him that one of his low-level advisors might have been compromised by the Russians. If they thought there was something with Russia, they should have come to me, Trump said, asserting that he would have removed that person from his campaign. Advertisement, story continues below. He was frustrated that reporters in the news media failed to examine key details of the story. Even the other side knows how wrong this whole thing is. They just can't write it, he said. At some point I really believe they will. You know there's Pulitzer surprises here. Big ones. I believe this whole FBI and Russia collusion mess will go down as one of the most corrupt incidents in the history of the United States. Trump is right to clean out the FBI. My only contention is he should do it wholesale. Subject everyone to intense background checks and severe vetting. Keep the ones that pass muster and get rid of the rest. And periodically, subject agents to extensive interviews to find out if they are still clean. Here is part of the interview from The Hill.TV. President Trump, I think that I hope to be able to put this up as one of my crowning achievements that I was able to do through the help of a lot of good people including you too, and all of the support we have. We have tremendous support by the way, to expose something that is truly a cancer in our country. When you look at the FBI, you know you have eight people or so fired now. And what we've done is a great service to the country, really. You know, I hope, I hope to be able to call this one of along with tax cuts and regulations, and all of the things I've done. You know you've been seeing, you probably saw the news conference I just did. John Solomon, we did. President Trump, we're making great trade deals. In its own way, this might be the most important thing because this was corrupt. When you look at Bruce Orr, whose wife was getting paid by people that did a totally phony deal. And they got a tremendous amount of money, the money. I mean the millions of dollars. And how about, George? Papadopoulos who I didn't know other than I sat with him for 15 minutes at a table, unfortunately, where they have a picture of this. I never even talked to the guy. I didn't know who he was. And I didn't know, one thing I will say about Carter Page. He never went around saying he knew me. He never went around saying the president is my best friend. They put him on some committee. Some person put him on some committee. They were both on the same committee. And that was not a good committee for me, okay. Laughter but they put him on the same committee and that was it. But he never went around talking about the president is my best friend. From day one he said, I never met the president. I didn't know the president, but I was put on his committee. And I say that. Buck Sexton, how much time has this taken up of your presidency by the way? The whole Russia thing. President Trump, it takes a lot. Because if I don't do it you know bad things can happen. I'll give you one thing in Papadopoulos. I didn't know him at all but once he, once he went public and I watched him, he was treated really badly. The guy with the tape recorder who got paid money. I mean, he got paid a tremendous amount of money. I didn't know the FBI had the right to pay somebody like that. I mean that's. He got paid more than anybody at the FBI gets paid by a lot. Right? Buck Sexton, I used to work at the CIA. I have some sense of what these guys get paid. Laughter. President Trump, no, but you understand what they gave him. I mean I heard reports from $500,000 to $2 million. President Trump had a lot to say in the interview and it was fascinating. 
What is clear is he's nowhere near done cleaning up the FBI or draining the swamp. No wonder they are so distraught. This is why Americans love Trump. He takes on his enemies and wins every time. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.